now. The human resistance is growing at UT Tyler. The campus-wide game known as Humans vs. Zombies returned to campus this week, building excitement among hundreds of faithful players. Among them is Anthony Bernadelli, a UT Tyler recruiter who started the game as a student last year. He's back on campus this week to rejoin the action. We just kind of pump each other up before each game and get ready to uh, face whatever the night has for us. The game puts humans in a battle for their lives against a group of zombies looking to build their undead ranks. Players fire nerf bullets, socks, and marshmallows at each other during a series of missions created by moderators. They notice a zombie walking towards them with papers sticking out of his pockets. They kill him and take out the papers. John Michael Goodhue is a moderator for the first time this year. As a player in previous games, friends called him Rambo. I was known for gearing up and walking around chasing zombies instead of running away from them. Humans vs. Zombies battles occur throughout the week of play, but the biggest action is during nightly missions. Players have to plan ahead and think on their feet if they want to survive another day. I'm hoping some humans get taken out. Zombies are looking pretty weak in numbers, and we hope that these escort missions where people have to move slow will, you know, be easy pickings. The game is open to newcomers who want to sharpen their skills, and veterans can tell you what to expect. It's a great way for you to meet new people and to actually get connected with people you don't actually already know. Reporting at UT Tyler for MCOM 1050 AM, I'm Andy Taylor.